Farewell 2013. Well, the end of 2013 is upon us. Um, 2013 was a year where people were born and people died, the tide went in and out many, many times, and weather occurred all over the world. We discovered um, Richard III was buried in a car park in Leicester, and that Finnish babies uh, sleep in cardboard boxes. But, of course, we now look forward to the new year, 2014. And what kind of predictions can we imagine for the year ahead? Well, I've decided, out of the goodwill of my own heart, and because I have a number of fortune cookies available, to do fortunes tonight. Um, a number of people have been very, very kind in sending in their questions. Uh, some have asked for general predictions about the year ahead. Some have got specific questions that they want answered. So I will do my best to interpret the fortune cookies as best I can to help you find out the answers to those questions. If you happen to hear a noise in the background, pay no attention, it is merely the tumble dryer. So, to carry out the fortune telling, I have the Pyramid of Mystery. The Pyramid of Mystery has two levels. An upper level and a lower level. And within each level are two different types of fortune cookies. In the lower level, there are these ones which were purchased from the local Chinese supermarket earlier today. And in the upper level, we have these ones which are from Lidl. I particularly like these ones. In my previous fortune telling video I used these. Uh, the great thing about these ones is they actually come in two languages. I suspect the fortunes are written in German and then translated into English. So they can be quite interesting sometimes. So, with no further ado, let us get on with the questions. I do apologise, but I will have to refer to my notes so I can keep fresh everyone's questions. I probably ought to edit this bit out, but um, I'm not going to, just to keep it authentic. Also, out of sight is the vibrating pig. I do apologise, I was hoping to bring the vibrating pig into this video, but it is not to be. Be assured, if you wish to see the vibrating pig, he is available on a number of other videos on my channel. Do feel free to subscribe and share and like and blah 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 blah, comment etc. So, the first question that we have, or well, the first prediction that we have a request for, is from Gary. And Gary would like a general prediction for the year ahead. So, to choose between the levels of the Pyramid of Mystery, Fortune, Mystery, Wonder, Mystery, Pyramid of Mystery. To choose between the upper and lower level, I have a coin. If it's heads, we'll go for the upper level. If it's tails, we will choose from the lower level. And I can never catch these particularly well, or at all. And we have heads. So, we'll go to the higher level of the Pyramid of Mystery. Penthouse, you could call it, perhaps. Um, I won't record eating all the cookies. Do not fear, I will be eating them later. They are not going to go to waste. I shall put them into this box just temporarily. So, Gary, you requested a general prediction for the year ahead. And the fortune is, with reflection and sensit sensitivity, you surely get to your aim. So, something with mirrors and using your senses you'll hit a target on a archery board, perhaps in the summer. Maybe you'll go on a holiday somewhere. I hope that was very informative. The second question is from Kirsty, and she's asked, will she win the lottery in 2014? Well, who knows? I know I'd certainly like to. In fact, I have a couple of lottery tickets for tonight. Probably should have checked them by now. If I've won, I'm not going to finish doing this video. No, I will do this video regardless. So, Kirsty, let us find out if you're going to win the lottery. Tails. So, let's go for the basement. I'm a little bit concerned because I've never used these ones before. I don't know if I can actually open the packaging, but I would certainly do my best. There we go. Looks quite like the other one. And your fortune is, Kirsty. Great thoughts come from the heart. 
No. No, he's not going to win the lottery. Sorry. But thanks for your question. The next prediction request is from Vicky, who again would like a general prediction. Hey, I managed it that time. And we're again, we're going for the tail. Lower level, the ground level. <coughs> and your prediction, Vicky, is... As every thread of gold is valuable, so is every moment of time. So, make lots of money, but don't spend any time making it. Have a great year! <clears throat> the, the next question which I have is actually from a, a, a special guest, uh, Scott Tumulty, who vlogs on the Geek and Sundry uh, vlog channel. He uh, vlogs about retro gaming. He's my favourite um, vlogger on there. Of course, I do have to say that because otherwise Scott will probably kill me in the morning. Um, and Scott asks, Will Sonic the Hedgehog finally come to terms with what he has become and end his miserable life? Well, thanks for the upbeat question, Scott. Um, I always used to own Sega consoles when I was a kid and I was a big fan of Sonic. When I was a teenager, my dad used to take great joy in calling him Chronic the Hedgehog. Um, I used to subscribe to Sonic the Comic and all that kind of sad thing. So let's find out the answer to your question and see if he is going to die. Heads. It's the little fortune cookies for you, Scott. And the fortune is, your efforts will be, will be successful. So, just to get a little bit more background, if you were hoping to be able to kill Sonic, it looks as though you will achieve that. I don't know what your efforts are, Scott, but good luck to you, and um, I look forward to Garlic Bread Monday. Next we have Steph, who again would like a general prediction for the year ahead. Tails. We're going down, going for the basement again. I'm getting the hang of this. So your general prediction for 2014, Steph. As every thread of gold is valuable, so is every moment of time. We've already had that one, that's quite disappointing. I'm going to do an extra one for you, just because. Heads. So we should get a different one because we're going to use the little cookies this time. You might not be able to understand it, but it will be different. I only bought those cookies this afternoon, I can't believe there's two exactly the same in the same bag. And your prediction for the year ahead, Steph, is everything goes just fine. Success! Well, well, good luck to you, Steph. And um, it sounds as if everything, everything is going to go very, very well. Well done. I'm not jealous at all. I wish I had that one. Anyway, the, the next question that we have is from Alex. And Alex has asked, will I buy him a bacon sandwich? No. No, I'm not Alex. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Fortune. Yeah. Okay, let's see what the, what the Pyramid of Mystery has to, has to say. Tails. If this is the golden time one again, I'm going to take the rest of these back. There's two in this one. Two. Okay. Um, I guess it's a really, really deep question you've asked, Alex. I didn't realise. Um, no, but they're both, they're both identical. Don't worry. So I'll just read one of them out. A financial investment will yield returns beyond your hopes. Okay. So I'm going to buy you a sandwich, apparently. But they won't charge you for it, and you'll get to keep the money. It's cunning. Very cunning. Good luck to you, Alex, and your bacon sandwich. And finally, I have one um, from Carol, who asks, 
Will I ever travel to the Outer Hebrides? Let's find out. Auntie Carol. So I've got one call, just calling you Carol. It's Auntie, it's Auntie Carol. Heads. Now I know she did say ever in the question, not just 2014. Just in case the 40 cookie said yes. I would like to come to the Outer Hebrides. This is like a small child. I'm not sure how he'd fit on a on a plane or a boat or I assume it's a plane or a boat to get to the Outer Hebrides. Um, I assume he's all the German um, fortune, I'll tell the English one. The sowing is painful, but the harvest will be rich. Um, I don't really know how to interpret that one. Hopefully, yes, at some point, yeah, definitely. It'd be nice to come and see you. Well, that's the end of my fortune telling. I hope you've enjoyed it, and um, I hope you have a good New Year. I look forward to doing many, many more videos like this, and possibly better quality ones in 2014. Bye! Oh, don't forget to subscribe and like and share and comment and etc. And if you want to check out Scott's channel, um, he's Scott plays bad games and he's really really funny um, so do watch him yeah bye